the Nationals are in the news for all the wrong reasons. So Strasburg's now not having his retirement ceremony. Mike Rizzo is still not signed. How do I put this kindly? What the fuck is going on in D.C.? That is not so kind, Scott. But <laughs> <laughs> they're in the middle of a potential sale. That's one thing that's going on. And clearly the relationship between Mike Rizzo and ownership, as I wrote today, does not appear to be as strong as the relationship between ownership and Davey Martinez. Davey Martinez, the manager, got an extension more than two weeks ago, and Rizzo is still kind of hanging out there. They're dismissing scouts, some of his special assistants, and they're cutting the budget on player op- player personnel people down to the bone, it seems. And I'm not quite sure how to read this. Again, I wrote about it today in The Athletic, and it's kind of an involved situation. But it seems to me that you're telling Mike Rizzo, as the Nationals owners, okay, you can come back, but you're coming back on our terms. You're coming back maybe not for two years like Davey, and you're coming back with a much lesser staff and the removals of a lot of people you brought in. And Mike Rizzo is a scout at heart. That is how he got into the game. And it must be very difficult for him to deal with scouts being let go. Now, all that said, Mike Rizzo, as I wrote, can be mercurial. He's a guy that can be difficult to work for and work with. They have not had the best record developing pitching. They were slow to embrace analytics. And they have what a lot of teams would regard as somewhat of a bloated staff. So there's never a total right or wrong in any of these situations. But ownership is under pressure here. And they're under pressure because they want to sell the team. They're under pressure because their revenues are down. Attendance is down this year. They haven't gotten a jersey patch deal. They don't have a naming rights deal for the ballpark. They're not where they should be revenue-wise. And right now, it's just kind of a huge uncertain situation. And the Strasburg thing, as the Athletics Brick Garoli reported, comes down to the learners, the owners of the team, not wanting to pay the full freight. Well, guess what? You have to pay the full freight. These contracts are fully guaranteed. Steven Strasburg is not his fault. I mean, he's injured. It's not his fault that he's injured. And you didn't get insurance on the contract. Now, granted, the premiums probably would have been excessive, but that you've got to live with as the Nationals. So they plan this retirement ceremony apparently thinking they could, I don't know, get some kind of deal. And that wasn't ever going to happen. So... It's a big mess all around. I guess I'd put it that way.